Nothing fancy, nothing special. Classic diner breakfast. We're gonna put it all on the flat top. Stay tuned. Well, it's the first day of summer for my kids. They got out of school yesterday. They had a massive block party. They had pizza, water balloons, sprinkler system, watermelon, cookies, you name it. They had a blast. All their friends over, and they said, Daddy, we cannot start our summer without a big old breakfast. They love the breakfast. And I don't have a chance to cook them breakfast that often. I said, deal. So nothing special today, but this is what we're going to do. Be like a short order cook, you know what I'm saying? Got some pancake mix already made. Got some beautiful sausage, some bacon. Throw some eggs down on the flat top a couple different ways. And other than that. Sprinkles for the pancakes. Oh, they love their sprinkles. We're about to get this show on the road. Let's go. Over here. All right. Flat top instructions. Low, 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 low. And medium. Why? Because I'm going to cook the meat over here and save this area for my, uh, for my eggs. So... This is the first time trying this thick cut bacon on the flat top. Typically we just use regular bacon, so I'm interested to see how it works out. All right, so we got some vegetables already pre-chopped for my wife. She's gonna have a big old omelet. We got mushrooms, onions, bell peppers, and tomatoes. I just moved some of that sausage and bacon grease over here. We're just gonna drop those down and get those started. We're gonna be doing some over easy eggs, a couple omelets, load this bad boy up with pancakes. Feels like I'm in the Navy again. You're <laughs> cooking Rock. like that. <laughs> yeah, rocking. <laughs> All right, I just want to show the viewers this real quick. This is my first time trying this, but I do like the idea. I'm going to go and clean as I go here. You guys know I like clean as I go. Move these sausages over. Now, turn this burner off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one off as well. Because remember, we have a lot of residual heat. So then, we're just gonna place our sausages above the heat, but still warm enough to stay warm. Woo! That bad boy is bubbling and squeaking. Then, our bacon. Right on there, look at that. Drain it from the grease. What do you think? Good idea? Looks We're good. We're gonna try it out, see if it works. All right, now that I got my griddle completely clean, okay, that's very important. Let's go by step-by-step -step process. You cook the meats, which will create like a sticky slash fond on your flat top. If you add eggs straight to your flat top or to a cast iron skillet or any type of cooking apparatus, after cooking bacon and sausage, your eggs are gonna stick. Nine times, now you can use the grease from the meat, but the fond is what the proteins of the eggs stick to. So clean your flat top completely, okay? So that's what we've got done. Plus we're able to help the temperature lower a little bit. I'm just gonna come back with some avocado oil. Now you guys obviously can use butter at this point. And we're just gonna go to pancake heaven. Now this is just a box pancake mix, nothing special. If I had to give you any secrets, we add a little bit of uh, powdered sugar and we add a little bit of um, uh, vanilla. If you haven't seen our pancake recipe. With muffin mix. With muffin mix, phenomenal. Much, 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 much more flavor. But the kids wanted some regular ones with sprinkles 
And I said, well, it's your summer vacation. I ain't arguing. You can tell that it's summer vacation because you can see our daughter jumping on the trampoline in the background. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it doesn't take long. Do you guys notice that we're starting to bubble on the sides? Let's see what we got here. Ooh, perfect. Ah! Forgot the sprinkles, Daddy. No, I didn't forget the sprinkles. We'll see what they look like. There's the sprinkles. things are hot oh those pancakes smell good hey while i'm making these and dropping these and focusing tell them about uh how we we'll make a big batch of pancakes what we do to them so when they're making their, their mix they can make more of them and save time later me tell them <laughs> that's <laughs> Way to really hit that one off cue, honey. We usually make a double batch of our muffin mix pancakes, muffin yep. mix chocolate chip pancakes. And and you can add any flavor, any flavor. Any flavor of muffin mix. And check out the recipe. I think the recipe for that is up on the website. But um, then we, boy, this is hard to talk on camera. <laughs> oh, you're getting ready for your film debut too? <laughs> and you can make fun of me. <laughs> We um, make a, a double batch and honey, honey, we... Hey, they've already tuned off. <laughs> <laughs> they've already tuned out. I'm gonna have to get some, do some practice. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to edit all that out. <laughs> <laughs> we are. <laughs> honey, I want you to go and tell them what happens when you make a big old batch of these things. Well, you can make a double batch of pancakes, put them in a gallon size Ziploc freezer bag stick them in the freezer and then you just can reheat them in your toaster oven straight from frozen straight from frozen so don't be scared to make a big old batch that's what we do for the kids oh that's a little heavy on the sprinkles honey i love giving my kids cavities <laughs> Whew. now this is my time to shine this brings back the memories you don't start as a cook in the navy on board a vessel on board a ship without starting on the griddle. And the first thing you did was first thing in the morning, that was eggs. So here we go. We got four people. Everybody wants something different. So here we go. Two egg omelet with cheese. A little bit of shell for protein. Coming right up. Don't be scared to add your cheese when your eggs are wet. It helps for a gooier, cheesier omelet. I'll show you why. Now this is how we used to do it. One egg over, come in with ingredients. See the egg, how it comes down? See that? How it keeps forcing it out? One egg, one omelet done. Now mama wants how many, how many egg omelet? Two or three, save some for later. Am I doing an omelet or a scramble? I guess I'll do an omelet. Get that. Uh, maybe three. Cause it'll be breakfast for tomorrow. Now you guys see right here, we've already sauteed our vegetables. I did that in that uh, 
animal fat, the bacon and the sausage. So that's why I went ahead and sauteed those because we're, I knew we were gonna clean up the grill. So this omelet's almost done. Adding butter to your flat top to me is probably the best case scenario if you don't have a thermometer. How your butter reacts will determine whether or not your flat top is too hot or not hot enough. Same thing, a little salt, a little pepper. Look how much fluffier it got, see that? Cause it cooks from the inside. All right. Feta cheese for mommy. Yep. I'm gonna do a little sprinkling of regular cheese. Got just a little bit of feta. You guys can act whatever type of cheese you like, but my wife loves feta. And those sauteed vegetables. Same thing, over. Next up. Two eggs over easy. For daddy. It's my favorite one. Pat of butter. See the different reaction of how I put the butter down now versus the first time? With your editing skills, show them side by side. See how hot that is? See how cool this is? Because the eggs will take the temperature of the flat top. So you just might have to wait a couple seconds. That's better. See how much more foam we got? Come back in with a little S&P. Mama's almost done. God, that's a two egg omelet. That's a three egg omelet. That thing looks like a it's got a lot aircraft of carrier versus my bass boat. <laughs> it's got a lot of vegetables yeah, in there. Yeah. That's two breakfasts. That's breakfast this morning and tomorrow I should morning. show you guys a leftover plate or lack of. We're about there. Looky there. Well guys, that's a classic breakfast right there. The flat top did everything we needed to. I love this little uh, cookie uh, rack. We just set it on top. It elevated a little bit so it didn't overcook. Everything stayed warm in the process. Um, other than that, hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends, and until next time.